The last speaker works to solve some of the major challenges we have with CCS, limitations of space. By using centrifugal forces, carbon capture can be relatively compact and opening new opportunities for CCS. Torleif Madsen is the general manager of Compact Carbon Capture, a Baker Hughes venture. And when I contacted him to talk about, uh, to talk about uh, what they do on, on CCS, um, I thought it was more of a, of a supplier or a small, um, uh, small carbon capture startup. But he arrested me very quickly and I learned that Baker Hughes is doing a lot to be a front runner on CCS. To life, we're glad you could join us and we're excited to learn more about your CCS strategy. Welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, first of all, thank you for inviting us to speak today. And I'm immensely proud of the work we are doing in, in um, Compact Carbon Capture, but I'm even more proud of the overall offer we are able to provide uh, as a large company in Baker use. So I will touch upon Compact Carbon Capture and I will also present to you the full range of products in our portfolio within the CCS area of Baker use. And uh, first and foremost, I would just like to start off with a small introduction uh, before I will, will continue with, with going a bit more into the different products we could offer. And um, as you all know today, CCUS is critical to decarbonize and uh, um, both energy and, and of course uh, production. Uh, and Baker Hughes is accelerating the development for these types of technology. And we have a clear aim of both ourselves and the industry leading to net zero. Uh, and the evidence of this is, of course, uh, not only the internal developments, but also the investments that has been done uh, uh, as new frontiers within the Baker Use uh, group. And we've been one of them. Compact Carbon Capture was acquired by Baker in late 2020. And then uh, it's also been invested in a license for SRI. It's a mixed salt process that I will touch upon later. And we have invested in a license, uh, exclusive license for a utilization technology, a power to X uh, uh, solution in Electrokia. And in addition, there has been publications or published um, and announced our partnerships into different uh, um, approaches in the CCUS space. Horizont Energy and Borg being kind of the most familiar to the Norwegian audience at least. Um, Borg being a cluster on the eastern part of Norway and Horizont, I believe you've heard uh, earlier today. So how are we positioning ourselves in the value chain? And it's safe to say that we are able to provide offers throughout the whole space. Um, if we're starting by the capture, I will touch upon three different technologies that we currently have in our portfolio. We are also in transportation. We have decades of experience on pipelines, uh, both uh, non-metallic and metallic pipelines. Uh, we have a world leading manufacturer of compression and liquefaction systems with decades of experience. Uh, we are providing services for EOR and also within the pure storage space. And as mentioned with the Electrokia uh, uh, approach, we have also moved into utilization. So if we touch upon um, the capture side first, uh, there's three uh, uh, technologies, and we believe that this is no silver bullet game, meaning every technology has its pros and cons, and this is why we're building a portfolio of technologies to be able to provide the best solution for the specific point of emission. Uh, the chill ammonia process is uh, the most mature technology. It has been tested at an approximately 80,000 tons per year 
facility on TCM. Uh, the mixed salt process is based on the same principle as uh, chilled ammonia, but has some specific features to it. I will touch upon the technologies on later slides, so I'm not going into detail now. It's a technology under development currently at TRL4 level. And then we have the compact carbon capture technology that is slightly different in terms that it's based in itself on amine or amine-like solvent. And the idea behind this technology is process intensification, meaning reducing the size of the equipment without losing efficiency. And we are currently at a TRL5 level. The chill ammonia process is based on ammonia, as it says, and this leads to a couple of benefits. Um, first and foremost, it's less degradative than, uh, um, than uh, the amine or amine-like solvents, and it also is uh, uh, able to provide the CO2 at a higher pressure. So uh, it's possible to uh, uh, provide CO2 at high purity in the range of 20 bar pressure. And in addition, as mentioned, the degradation of the solvent is less brown uh, uh, in this uh, process. Um, this has been tested over the years and currently as mentioned, I think there's a picture on the next slide showing the plant at TC Amongsta. This is the uh, uh, um, chilled ammonia plant. Um, the mixed salt process is uh, based on the same principle as the chilled ammonia, but you do not need the chilling. So it's suitable for different locations and it has other pros and cons. It's a bit um, lower pressure at the outlet of the CO2, but it's still um, uh, uh, the, uh, um, the pure uh, um, introduction of, of the solvent. So it's, um, you could utilize uh, um, the ammonia as basis for the solvent. The compact carbon capture plant is, as mentioned, it's based on the same basic principle as um, the um, amine or amine-like solvents, meaning we are using the same chemical principle. But in this plant, we have combined the pre-boiler and the desorber into one rotating stripper, significantly reducing size and losing one tag number. In the uh, cross-flow rotating absorber, we have uh, moved away from gravity-based distribution of solvent and using, as, as mentioned in the introduction, centrifugal forces. This increases and reshapes the surface of the solvent droplets uh, uh, more often, allowing for more contact area being available to extract CO2 from the flue gas, thus reducing the overall size. And uh, in addition to this, we could operate at a higher viscosity level for a solvent, meaning we could target areas of solvents that is non-usable on the um, conventional plants. When it comes to the transportation side of the story, um, uh, we have several options and we could participate in a lot of these uh, um, stages of the uh, transport business. Uh, we are, as mentioned, a uh, long um, and experienced provider of compression and liquefaction systems, meaning that we could take off the CO2 at a gas state and compress it to the desired state of transport. And in the transport, we could do everything from local uh, transport and intermediate storage to uh, 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 the more permanent um, transport by piping it to offshore or onshore wells. And we have been experienced in uh, 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 providing a lot of ranges when it comes to pressure and temperature. And we have also already been awarded uh, uh, a couple of, of uh, orders within the compressional stages of the CO2 logistics. There are, of course, different ways of 
getting there, both by centrifugal compressors and centrifugal pumps, depending on, on, on the, the use case. And we are proud to say that we could deliver in the whole range, uh, that meaning up to 550 bars pressure, which should be sufficient for most cases. On the sequestration, uh, uh, we have uh, also uh, uh, taken with us a lot of experience from our oil and gas uh, business that has been running for decades. We could be a part of a project all the way from characterizing the uh, well sites, um, conducting pre-feed and feed studies. We could uh, uh, participate in the optimization of installation with integrated well service, injections, and customized well design. We have systems and experience in uh, uh, compliance, so we could provide uh, the insurance of that the assets are uh, are, are, are performing as they will, uh, as they shall, uh, with uh, real-time monitoring and, and other uh, uh, technologies to ensure compliance. And after the uh, well is, uh, um, is uh, the, the lifespan of the well is, is ended, we could assist in both um, decommissioning, uh, closing the wells, and also monitoring uh, uh, to prevent uh, undesired and unidentified leakages uh, for the future. I would like to touch upon a bit the two uh, partnerships that we currently are uh, have published uh, are, are uh, participating in. And for Borg, this uh, has, of course, to compact carbon capture uh, a long lasting history. We're proud to say that we were a part of this for from the very beginning, uh, um, supporting the initiatives taken by the founders of Borg. And we were very proud when we were accompanied by the Greater Baker use for addressing the overall cluster, also with, with our, our other complementary features to the CCC capture technology. And then as for Horizont Energy, uh, uh, we are also very proud to be a part of this, uh, um, this uh, uh, project uh, with um, a lot of, of touch points to, to the um, overall um, CO2, um, CO2 avoidance game. And uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, albeit we already have a huge and existing uh, portfolio, we are increasing both in opportunities and um, building the new frontiers to be a part of the green transition and uh, and working to, to reach the net zero goals, uh, both for ourselves and for our clients. I think that was the conclusive slide. And I would, again, thank you for inviting us. And of course, if there is any interest in anything that I presented today, we would be more than happy to have offline sessions with each and every one of you to explain a bit more in detail and, and figure out how we could best help you reaching your goals. Thank you very much. Thank you to life. <clears throat> On the digital platform, you're also able to, to contact each other and set up meetings and so forth. So let's keep in touch. Uh, it's inspiring to see that the last speaker has such a large CCS strategy compared to what I initially thought. To be surprised in a positive way is the best way to conclude the CCS technology conference. The Bologna Foundation have been working with CCS for more than 30 years, and it's inspiring to see that the technology of capture, transport, and storage of CO2 is finally moving fast. Stavanger has some advantages to become the focal point of CCS in the future if you put your brightest minds on the job. We want to thank all the speakers for valuable insights, Huli for video production, Tapin for digital platform, Clarion for locations, 
all our participants for joining us and our dear sponsors who have made this conference possible. Please have a look at their exhibitions online. Let this be the start of a CCS network that will make a difference. Thank you all.